What is this? Numbers in your pocket. Yeah. I remember when you ooh, used to throw those things away. Hey, people want to know, man. Jagged Edge 112. Jagged Edge 112. Was y'all beefing with each other at any point? Hey, you know what? We never had like an official beef. I just think that uh, it was it was competitive. Like, we all competitive. Uh, I, I know I am. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And anytime we're in the same lane, you know, people could. People gonna always pit you against each other, mm -hmm. and I think you know there was one instance, man. Where uh, I think one of the guys from Jagged Edge may have said something, and then one of my group members called the radio station. But it was really not not any official beef. R&B singer, man. Like we don't fight, we love on women, man. Right, right. And y'all was popping at the same yeah, time. Y'all, yeah. y'all pretty much damn near came out at the same time. Yeah, like a year apart. Yeah. I say you checking one of them though, man, on the video. Oh, I mean, yeah, you know, it was at my party last year, um, mm -hmm. my birthday party at, uh, in Atlanta at Justin's, and uh, one of the members of Jagged Edge, Kyle, came up on stage. I think he had, had a couple of weeks where he came up. Kyle always drunk. Kyle, you need to quit that shit, dog. You do that at the comedy club, too. He used to heckle the shit out of me on stage at <laughs> Uptown. You know, I, it wasn't the place for that. It was my birthday party. We was at a celebration, so mm -hmm. I just kind of had to squash it. Mm -hmm. So everything is cool, man. Everybody's cool. Everything is kosher. You ain't gonna return the favor and like hit his birthday party and show your ass? Nah, that ain't even me, man. Okay, okay. Nah. This is this is the million dollar question right here. Why did you guys break up, man? Man, honestly, and this is, I, I love to, to clear the air about this, man. Like, we never officially, like, we never broke up. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when people introduce me and what I have going on as a solo artist, they'll say Q Parker formally on 112. Mm -hmm. And I corrected, like, there's no formula, like, we never broke up. Anytime the industry or the, the public are accustomed to seeing certain things, like they're accustomed, they're accustomed to seeing you and I together all the time, mm -hmm. this is our show, we rocking. Mm -hmm. And then if I step out and do my own show from another opportunity, they feel like we done broke up. Yeah, but they ain't ready for it though, not man. not necessarily the case. But again, you gotta understand this too. We started, we started, we got together mm -hmm. and started in middle school. Mm -hmm. So from middle school all the way up until 2005, 2006, We've been together down in 20 years. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So as a man, it's time to just kind of like, you know, you got to spread out sometimes. And, and at that time in all of our lives, different priorities start to take precedence. So it may have been me getting married or uh, uh, Slim had kids. Mm -hmm. So now everybody's contribution to the movement on 112 wasn't really the same as opposed to early on, we all want to do this. We all want to show up at this time. We all want to move this way. And, as you grow up and become a man, you may start to think different. I mean, I want to sing the same type of songs that the brand 112 is has developed or has has become a standard. So, you know, at that time, we all decided like, hey, we've been together almost all these years, five albums, all these records are sold, and Grammys and all that kind of stuff. Let's take a pause for a second and allow everybody to just kind of explore themselves individually. So, for the people that don't know, and you know what I'm saying, now you're doing your own thing, who is Q Parker? Q Parker is a singer, songwriter, Grammy Award winner. Um, you got a Grammy. Veteran in the game, one fourth uh, of Super Group 112 that, that will be legendary. But now he's turned a new chapter and really introducing, reintroducing himself to the world as Q Parker. I'm the solo artist, I'm a fitness enthusiast, I'm, I'm very much into nutrition and health. You know, I want to do my part on trying to make sure that as a country we're more health conscious. Um, this is, I've just released my second fitness calendar. You know, the overall mission man, is to just make a, as, as a nation just more health conscious. Mm. And um, it's not so much of trying to make sure you look like me, but you do something. Mm. Because, you know, we have all have kids and in a way it's kind of selfish for you not to take care of your body and you know not be here to watch your kids grow up. Why did y'all leave Bad Boy? We um, left Bad Boy because we had fulfilled our obligations uh, legally and contractually. And it's sort of like athletics, man. When you fulfill your contract, you become a free agent. You can pretty much, you know, entertain other offers. Well we had 
done the three albums on Bad Boy, so double platinum each time. Um, very successful. And when it came time to read up our contract, um, we just felt like Puff didn't give us the right deal based on what we had contributed to Bad Boy. Mm -hmm. And when you compare the deal he offered with the deals that other labels were offering us, it was sort of like you know, his offer was the lowest of the other people that hadn't been in business with us for the last eight, nine years. Mm. So where y'all are, where, where are you with Puff right now? You, you, We're good. You cool when yeah, yeah. see each other, you dab each oh, other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when we see Puff, it's, it's all love. Uh, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, we don't talk every day. We're not on each other's Twitter account and all that. We you're not gonna follow me. I mean, I, I do follow Puff. Oh, you don't okay. follow me, but. <laughs> Hey, follow this nigga Puff, come on. You know, the nigga gave you millions of dollars and shit. Yeah. And the nigga doesn't get a follow button? You just push the follow button? Uh huh, yeah. Obviously, if I see Puff out, still good standing, good report, we're gonna dap it up, we're gonna laugh and join each other and talk about each other for a little bit, reminisce on the old times and keep moving. Hey man, there it is right there, dog. Make sure you go subscribe to all of that right now. Go get the calendar for your grandma because I'm going to do it for my grandma. And we over here, we out of here. Like I always say, you just can't say you're real. It's something you got to be. Q Parker. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Know what I mean? When I 